Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ginny and Nancy here with another live video for you on Friday. We didn't get a chance to type anything in because we got excited and we went live really quickly. But just to let you guys know, what we're going to be promoting tonight is our master kit. It's your last night to get the master kit. <coughs> so before midnight, make sure you get your orders put in. And you're using your code Jenny W on glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com so you can get your 10% off of that entire order. Okay, guys? We are going to take a few seconds here and we're going to show you the product we'll be using for today. And then we're also going to share all of our Instagram and Facebook followers so that they know we're going live. So these are the two colors we're going to be using today. This is CND Creative Play. I like to mauve it. <laughs> and Drop Anchor, which we've used Drop Anchor before, but I don't think we've used I like to mauve it. I think that's a funny name. What's up, miss? How's it going? So here's the two colors we're going to be using today. And then we're also going to be using our Glitz Glue Gel Condense in the 15G pot. <coughs> We'll be using our twin tip brush and we'll be using our crystal picker as well. We'll also be using a Glitz non-wipe gel top coat. You can use any gel top coat as long as it is a no wipe. And then we'll also be using our Glitz precision pen, which does actually look like this. So just a few more seconds, guys, and then we'll get started. Here are the two colors that I showed you a minute ago. And then I have some designs laid out here on the trays. There we go, that'll help us. And I'm gonna be doing two of these. I'm not entirely sure. I think I may be doing these two here because I really like the layout of this one. It looks kind of like a spaceship. But this just gives you an idea, like before your client shows up and you're just messing around, maybe they don't really know what they want yet. That's what I did. I just kind of put it together in the tray. It's kind of hard sometimes to get the wax picker to drop your crystal. So what I'll often do is I'll get it positioned and then I'll use my nail and I'll just like tap it and it'll fall off straight <coughs> down. That way it's quicker for you to pick it up as opposed to having to shake the tray every three seconds. So here's what our Glitz Condensed Glue Gel actually looks like inside. Make sure you're keeping this little um, cardboard piece in the top here because you don't want that to spill out of the sides. That is going to ensure that it seals at the top and it stays inside of the jar. But I have a little bit of excess on the top here. So I'm actually going to just use what's on the top as opposed to digging in my jar nice to have that extra little bit so what I'm gonna do guys if you're doing this on liquid and powder or you're doing this on dipping you do want to put a base coat first you want to put a base coat a gel base coat and you want to cure that for 15 seconds after you cure your gel base coat for 15 seconds then you can go ahead and apply your condensed glue gel so you're gonna apply your condensed glue gel to the surface of the nail, just like I'm doing right now. And then you're gonna top coat. So once you have enough on there, you're gonna be able to tell because you'll, if your brush drags quite a bit into it, it's really thick. Just depends on what you're applying and how much you need to apply. If you're doing your 3D, you're gonna add a lot more than that. So as always, I'm just wiping whatever excess is left right back into the pot. That up a little will bit. ensure that you're getting everything all back in there. You guys excited for Orlando? Because we are. Nancy's messing around right now, and I'll tell you, it's so freaking fun. All the stuff that we have to show you guys for when we go to Orlando is insane. 
Nancy was showing me all the stuff today and I really honestly could not believe how much she has ready for you guys. I'm, I'm really impressed. So we're gonna put this back on. Make sure you keep everything nice and capped and you wanna do that because you don't want this to be anywhere near your UV light when you're working. You don't wanna accidentally cure this. And then we'll go ahead and we'll top coat. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm floating my top coat. And that just means I have enough on my brush that it will be kind of drippy and I can just, with a very gentle hand, you can go over the surface of the nail, right? Just like this. So you just wanna be nice and easy and it will spread all the way down. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, guys, now quick tip, any excess you have, just quickly swipe up your nail. Just like that, guys. Nancy and Jenny, you see me go live with you earlier because Nancy and Jenny is down to the show called Oregon Nehmai. And then Southern Oregon, la. Uh, after that, we're gonna be in Orlando. Uh, a great success in such a yes. good team, say, Urban Orlando. Sẽ chia sẻ và giới thiệu rất là nhiều sản phẩm mới. Nancy và Jenny rất là um, excited to uh, chia sẻ hết những cái product mới và cách làm mới uh, rất là nhiều. Uh, so, nếu mà các anh chị em mình đi Orlando, thì có thể ghé tại booth của hai năm 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 à, để ghé thăm gian hàng à, của công ty và có những cái sản phẩm mới học cách làm à, làm sao mà đính đá thật là dễ dàng và không có bị chóc ra khỏi ngón tay à, <cười> ngày mai thì à, công ty có booth à, gian hàng chuẩn bị cho cái gian hàng của Oregon Nail Expo thì nếu mà anh chị em ở bên à, West Coast thì phía tây bắc uh, Seattle, um, gần Seattle, Idaho and Oregon area like that thì có thể ghé qua booth của thăm công ty ở bên um, <coughs> Oregon. It's really cool. Jenny up a little bit, Jenny. Perfect. Okay, better. Oh my gosh, you guys. You excited about Oregon? Mm. Oh, Lee, 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 support you, give you a lot of love. Aw, thank you. Oh, here we go. And I'm kind of just placing this however I want to place it. There's no real rhyme or reason here. I'm just kind of going with what I think is gonna look cute. Jenny. Of course, she's her favorite color. Uh, I'm sorry, the shape. Polished rice. Yes, I love polished rice. When I saw this and I was like, I was just kind of messing around with these a minute ago and kind of like piecing them together and seeing how they would look. And I really love the way that polished rice fits together with these triangles. I think it's really geometric and different looking. I'm gonna put this right at the bottom there. And if you guys are curious, any questions that you have, feel free to ask. 
like Nancy said, she's preparing for a show in Oregon. We got a lot of stuff going on this year, guys, so definitely check us out while we're doing stuff. You want to come and see us in Orlando? You want to come and see us in Oregon? You want to see us in Gatlinburg? Especially in Orlando because we're going to be launching a bunch of stuff for you guys. So if you want to see some cool things that we're probably not going to be talking about until the Orlando show, you'll just have to come and see us in Orlando in person because, like I just said, Nancy has a lot of stuff planned. I know I'm always telling you guys about all the stuff that Nancy has planned and then we share it while we're doing live video. But this time there's not gonna be any sharing before we get to the show. This is just gonna be something that you have to wait and show up at the Orlando show to see. That's freaking awesome, huh, Jamie? Yeah, I, I think it's better because you guys are gonna get to see the launch in person and it's, I don't know, I like, I like when you get to actually be a part of it. It makes you feel like you're more of a community than just Okay, we're doing it online. Oh, yes. I really oh. love this. This is so Jenny, pretty. Jenny, can, can you design it up well? You should name each design that you're doing, Jenny. Yeah. I like sometimes when they when I do them like this, and they kind of look like it. It looks like a spaceship to me. It is. Yeah, it kind of looks like a spaceship. And then this I like some Marvel Studio. Marvel, another Marvel Studio <laughs> nail. <laughs> Love it. There we go. Oh, I love this. <coughs> you guys, oh my god. Think about how reflective this is gonna be in the car. I know. <laughs> to me, the car is the best place for you to show off your nails because it's so bright in your vehicle. And you really don't have the same kind of like light anywhere else. Unless you have a really nice house with like open like window area. Other than that, it's pretty much just your car. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna put some right here on these outer edges. Just because I feel like there's enough of a space there that we can. And it's still going to look really nice, but also have a purpose because we don't want that <coughs> corner to be sharp. So I'm just making sure everything's nice and tucked together before I stick anything in the light. Nice and even. Everything looks really good, actually. Just trying to straighten everything out a little bit. I did get a little bit of glue gel on my thing. You can watch me. Sometimes you'll see me do this. And I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have any condensed glue gel or any top coat on the end of my picker because I am touching these and moving them around. And you don't want to get anything on the top of your crystals. You want everything to stay nice and clear because otherwise you're gonna see anything that's gonna show up on the surface of that crystal. You want it to be really nice and pretty and clear. That won't happen if you're like touching everything. All right, guys, I'm actually really happy with the way that this looks, so I'm gonna pop this in the lamp. Again, just to keep your shape, guys, do squeegee the sides for me and then just wipe down. And then you'll be perfect. You'll be good to go. And we'll pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds. That's all that we need to do. And then after that, we will go around with our precision pen. Ooh, Nancy, that's really pretty. It looks like a waffle yeah, cone. It is? With like dark chocolate. Yeah, like an ice cream cone with dark chocolate. So cool. And then added crystal on it. Hey Queen, how are you sweetie? Hey Nails by Erica. I think that's how we say that. What's up guys? I hope you're doing great. Today is our last day for our beautiful master kit, guys. You have until midnight tonight for that sale and then after that we will no longer have our master kit going. We'll have something else up for you. 
Um, and then you can get your 10% off of that order if you use your code JennyW on glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And then, of course, you're going to get your free shipping with that. So <coughs> any orders of $150 or more, you get your free shipping. Hope you guys had a really busy Friday. I know I always say that, but I really mean it. We want you to make the best amount for your Fridays, especially because if you're doing something like this, you can charge $25 a nail. At least that's what I'm, I would do if this was my nail. I'd be charging $25 for this one. But now that we have this like this, I'm going to go ahead and feel the surface of the nail. Any little space where I think that I'm going to have to go in with my precision pen, I will. I don't really feel anything, but as always, I do think that it's better to just be safe than sorry. So again, keep your little red cap. Please do not throw your little red cap away. As soon as you toss this little red cap, you're gonna be like, oh no, this is spilling out all over the desk. It's going all over my counter. It's going all over anything that you have because there's no cap on there anymore. So it's just spilling out the top of this. So please be careful, keep your cap because you're gonna put that right back in there when you're done. So what you're gonna do with this, guys, and I'm really just gonna go around my metal beads because I think that's the only place I need to go. You're going to feel, and then you're gonna fill. So go in your little areas, wherever you think that you need to go. There we go. And then right around here. I'm going to go all up in this area here. Should be good. You just want it to be nice and thin. Any little raised up bit that you have, you're going to have to go ahead and blend that out. So I'm going to show you how to blend it really quickly. Again, like I said, keep your red cap. You want to put this right back in there. You can see how easy that was for me to get in there. You don't really have to have like special eyesight or anything like that. It's just going to go right back in the top. Put your cap back on. And then in my opinion, guys, just wipe any excess condensed glue gel that you may have on your brush. Just wipe that off. Then you're going to go in. And you're going to gently pull the edges of your glue gel pen. And you're going to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And that way when you go back in with your top coat, you do not have to worry about whether or not you have a lumpy surface. Right? So just all around here and then again this only requires a 60 second cure so we're going to cure this for 60 seconds and then we'll go back over with our top coat slightly so i'm just going to bring this all the way down here So as you guys can see, I do have some different designs laid up in my triangle trays. When you're getting your master kit, you will get your two triangle trays and your scoop. You're gonna get so many crystals, over 30,000, Nancy? Well, over 10,000. Over so. 10,000. Thank you. I'm so, I always have to ask <coughs> because I'm never 100% sure. Nancy's, yeah, many. Nancy's always adding more stuff. So with this kit, guys, you're going to get your Glitz you Gnome Wipe Gel Top Coat. No, okay. I don't have the actual master kit, Nancy, if you want to get that for me. Then we have our Precision Glue Gel Pen, which you just watched me use. This is all the stuff that you get for free with your kit, too, by the way. This is all your free stuff. You're going to get your brush. You're going to get your selfie light, which, guys, this is awesome because you can use this not only for your selfies, but you can use this for your actual nail pictures. And then you just put a battery in the back here. That way you don't have to charge it. I think it's a AAA battery. You're going to get your crystal picker brush holder tray. 
You can also put all kinds of crystals and stuff in here. You can do whatever layout I've done here. You can do that in your tray as well. You're also going to get, like I said, your true triangle trays and your scoop. You're going to get a display plate, which we show you usually at the end of the video. We have a display plate with the nails on it. You're also going to get some display tips as well. So if you're curious, the kind of tips that we use when we're doing this, you can see here we have black and we have clear. I usually just paint the clear ones. And then you're also going to get your crystal picker, which this is our brand new design. You can see our old design compared to the new design, guys, because we've made the tip of it more slender for you. And we also made sure that your end you're moving around with, your precision end, no longer has a hole so you don't get anything stuck in there. And we did add a dotting tool for you in that way. If you need to use this for art, you can do that as well. So not only are you gonna get all that, but you're also going to get a large pot of our condensed glue gel in the 15G pot. So it's quite a good value for you guys. And then I'm gonna show you really quickly all of the crystals, over 10,000 crystals, like Nancy told us, which honestly, guys, that's gonna last you a few years into your career. This is not something that you get and then you get and you get it. You get it one time and then you're gonna fill up whatever runs out. Then you have your own little trays here where Nancy's done three different shapes and almost over 20 of each shape is in here. What you're gonna be able to do after you run out of whatever you're running out of, you can go back on our website, you can choose each one of these shapes individually and fill this back up for yourself. But if you do that, you'll be able to see that each little crystal pot is $15 and that means that when you're doing this, you're not only getting more than you would get in the jar, but you're also getting three of each shape. So you save. So you save quite mm. a bit of money, honestly. You save over like almost over three hundred dollars. Over three hundred dollars, yeah. yeah. That's really good. That's a good value for. It. It's over ten thousand. Yeah, and then you guys can make that back pretty quickly, depending on how you're charging your clients, and hopefully you're <coughs> charging them properly because you do want to make sure that you're getting back what you put into it. And then think about it like this: at the end of the year, all of this is stuff you can write off in your taxes. So I'm just gonna go ahead here, and I'm gonna go back in with my non-wipe top coat. Thank you, Jenny. No I got to play with her. Uh, Nancy, xin chia sẻ chút xíu. Um, mỗi một tuần, Jenny sẽ go live là thứ ba và thứ sáu. Mỗi một lần design thì Jenny sẽ làm hai kiểu mẫu khác nhau để giúp cho những anh chị em mình uh, Jenny up a little bit, so all of them. Uh, để giúp cho anh chị em mình có những cái kỹ năng làm đính đá rất là đẹp mà không sợ bị chóc hay là bị trở ngại vì mình đinh đá sợ không có được phối uh, kiểu đẹp hay là mình không biết là mình nó có bị chắc hay không nó có ở trong móng tay khách hàng không thì uh, ngày hôm nay là ngày cuối cùng của promotion là được bớt thêm 10 phần trăm của cái master kit nếu mà anh chị em mà mình thích cái đá tại vì đá này rất là chiếu và nó được cắt theo uh, theo từng cái góc cạnh khác nhau uh, nhìn thấy <cười> ở trên màn hình thì mình thấy nó không có như nhìn ở trên à, mình bằng mắt mắt thường của mình khi mà mình nhìn trên cái sản phẩm thì nếu mà anh chị em mình có đi, à, nếu có anh chị mình đi tới cái show của Orlando thì công ty có gian hàng ở bên show Orlando để anh chị em mình có thể à, nhìn tận mắt được những cái kiểu đá khác biệt những cái design khác nhau và rất là nhiều à, sản phẩm khác sẽ được giới thiệu trong À, kỳ những cái kỳ sâu tới nhưng ngày hôm nay nếu mà anh chị em <cười> thích <cười> cái um, những kiểu design này thì trong cái kit mà Jenny giới thiệu là cái kit master kit này nó có đầy đủ hết hơn 90 kiểu uh, mẫu đá khác nhau và có hơn 10.000 hột đá ở trong một cái kit này mình uh, nếu mà anh chị em mà, mà mình uh, mua cái kit này thì mình sẽ dùng được rất là lâu rất lâu mới hết một cái kit như vậy. Oh wow, Nancy, that's really pretty. You like it? Yeah. I really like that. 
That's good enough, huh? Yeah, it's really pretty. All right, guys, we are curing that nail with I put the top coat on it. We're curing that for 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna move on to the next nail. But first I'm gonna put this on our display plate and show you guys how pretty it is. Sorry everybody. Nhưng mà anh chị em mình busy ngày hôm nay là thứ sáu thường thường rất là busy. Uh, Jenny và Nancy cũng rất là busy nhưng mà bởi vì mình chuẩn bị cho cái show để ngày mai đi uh, Orlando, uh, Oregon, I'm sorry. Thì that's why là bây giờ rất là bận rộn nhưng mà vẫn cố gắng để có thời gian để go live để chia sẻ với anh chị em mình hàng tuần. Oh my Ooh, God, Jenny, did you so put the top coat on? Oh my God. Khi mà mình Jenny dùng cái precision glue rồi thì Jenny đi lại không có không có sơn oh top coat trên trên mặt móng. Tại nếu mà sơn top coat trên mặt móng thì nó sẽ làm cho cái móng của mình bị uh, cái đá của mình nó sẽ bị mờ đi, nó sẽ không còn được đẹp nữa. Khi mà anh chị mình đi lại một lần top thì mình chỉ đi xung quanh những đá thôi. Nếu mà mình đi xung quanh đá thì nó sẽ không có bị uh, nó sẽ không có bị mờ cái đá của mình, cái đá của mình được ở giữ ở lâu hơn. I really love this design. Okay. I'm going to put this on the plate now, guys. I have it right here. Oh, have right it. in front of you. I stole it. Okay. You can have it, Jenny. Thanks, Nancy. I'm be over here. I'm so excited. You see you like that design? Yeah. All right, guys, <coughs> on to the next nail. And I really love this color. Like I said, this is, I like to mauve it. I think that's supposed to be a play off of, what's that movie, Madagascar, where he says, I like to move it, move it. I remember that. <laughs> Isn't that to move it, move it? Yeah, it's a song. The kids probably know about it, Nancy. Oh, okay. It's a cartoon movie. I see. All right, so first we're gonna get started, guys, with our Glitz Condensed Glue Gel in the 15G Pot. And just again, for all of you who weren't here earlier, maybe you missed it, or you're just joining us for the first time and you don't know, you are gonna use this on top of your dipping or your liquid and powder after you use a base coat and cure that for 15 seconds. So after you put your base coat down, you cure it for 15 seconds, it's gonna be tacky enough that this will stick to the surface without peeling off. If you don't do that and you just apply this right to the surface of the nail on your liquid and powder or your dipping, it's gonna peel off. So make sure that you're buffing the surface, rough it up, clean it off with a little bit of alcohol, and then you wanna put your base coat on and cure that for 15 seconds. Not only that, but make sure guys when you're doing this with your gel product that you do leave it a little tacky. You're not top coating first. You do want to use that inhibition layer of your gel product to make sure that this is actually gripping. So when you're doing your gel polish and you're going to put your crystals on the top of it, all you have to do is go from gel polish application, that's color, immediately to this, and then afterwards you top coat. So don't do that yet. So again, I'm gonna take a little bit of my condensed glue gel here, and then I'm gonna go over the surface of my nail. So just nice and easy, just like that. If you feel like you have too much, all you have to do is pull down, wipe, and wipe it in your pot. Anything you wipe in your pot is gonna actually sink down into it, so don't worry about that at all. You do wanna make sure Everything is nice and uniform. You can see I have quite a bit at the top here. So what I'm gonna do is go right around the edge of that. Perfect, this looks really good. Now that I've done that guys, like I said, I'm gonna wipe any excess off back into the pot just because I wanna make sure that that stays nice and clean. Then I'm gonna wipe my brush really quickly off so that I don't have to worry about having to do that later. And I'm just using a paper towel or a no wipe, no wipe, no lint wipe. Cause you don't wanna have any hairs or anything extra on this. Hey Colleen, how are you sweetie? So now that I've put my condensed glue gel on, if you're just joining us, I just applied this to the surface of the nail. 
I am going to go ahead and use my non-wipe top coat. I'm gonna float that on the surface of the nail, meaning I'm just going to very quickly put some on and swipe it down, making sure that I'm not pressing super hard. That way it will just glide right over the top and any little extra bit that I have, I'm gonna wipe back into the bottle. So you don't want it to be so thick that it's going to sink down in really, really far. You just kind of want it a little bit on there. All right, so quick tip guys, wipe and squeegee right here. You just want to make sure everything doesn't flow to the side of your nail because otherwise you're going to be like, oh, dang it. My nail looks super fat now and I don't know what I did. Well, it's because you let your gel seep down to the sides and you didn't narrow it down. So again, I kind of had my idea already in my head. Now you can see this is really high up on the nail actually, right here on the sides. So I'm actually not gonna put that like that, but I just wanna show you guys what I'm talking about here. See how there's so much space there? We're not doing a 3D nail and I had this design in my head it's not working on the nail because of the fact that there's gonna be that huge lip there. And the reason you don't want that is because as soon as this lady goes to run her hands through her hair, or man, whoever you are, you're gonna catch in your hair and you're gonna hate that. It's gonna drive you insane. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna just knock this off. So I don't, I don't want it anymore. I've decided against that design but I can still keep it as long as I'm just not using that one in the middle. So I'm still gonna put this on the top here. I actually really liked the way that I had these. Perfect. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put, oh. As soon as it started moving around, it was like, ah! There we go. And all I'm doing now, guys, is I'm trying to like even this out slightly so that I don't have to worry about it being crooked. If anything shifts during you doing this, guys, you can always reposition it. But as soon as you cure it, it's stuck there. So make sure that you're positioning it before you cure it. Otherwise, you're going to be a little sad. So now that I've done that, I am going to go ahead and place the rest of my crystals here. Like I said, I kind of knew how I wanted to do this design. I can still put my polished rice on here if I want. Actually, ooh, no, let's use this one. Because it'll still fit there, like, actually perfect. Oh, it looks really pretty. Okay. Oh, I really love it. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right underneath it. Keep that from moving. Tuck them all up in. Welcome back. Welcome back, Nancy. There we go. I can see I have a little bit of excess gel here, so I'm just going to wipe that down the side. There we go. And then 
As always, I'm going to start adding in my little gold beads. Well, that's pretty. There we go. Happy accidents, guys. Oh, is that accident out here? Yeah, but it looks cute. Like, because I dropped some of my metal balls down. Just make sure when you're doing that, like I just did, sink it down in there. Don't just let it rest on the top. Otherwise, it's going to pop right back out. And you'll be like, what the heck? There we go. And then... I like doing the three at the bottom, but I think I'll just do the one on this. I think it looks really cute still. And we can put maybe three on this side. Or we can just do two, it's fine. That actually looks cute. Ooh, I know. We can do that and then we'll put an SS Four right here. It's really fun to kind of just play around with this stuff and come up with something different. I love having a different design every time. That's why I'm always telling you guys, just use your brain, be creative. There's no wrong or right way to do this. As long as you're applying it in the right way, you can put your crystals wherever you want to and they're gonna look beautiful. They're gonna sparkle and bling. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <gasps> Nancy! Every it. time! <laughs> oh my goodness, up a little bit, Jimmy. Oh. Looks awesome. You doing over there? Let's see what you're doing. Oh, whoa! That looks really good, Nancy. You like? Yeah, she has some stuff she'll show you guys soon. I don't know if she wants to show it to you yet. Because we're doing a really cool launch for you guys in Orlando and I don't think she wants to ruin the surprise. So we will see you guys in Orlando for that amazing stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I really love all these shapes. See, when you're doing this to you guys, you're using like in this design alone I have one two three exquisite shapes this is a $30 nail right here and then also with this set you'd be making $75 just for your basic set because of the length that you have added so think about how much of your ticket that's gonna be oh it's so pretty that exciting <coughs> this is so pretty All right, I love it. I don't want to mess with it anymore because I feel like I'll ruin my design and how cute it is. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds, guys, and then we'll go around with our precision pen. And anything that needs to be moved, make sure you move it before you stick it in the light. And then be very careful, guys. Make sure that you're keeping all of your product away from the light. You don't want to cure any of this because then it's not gonna have the same consistency. It's gonna be a little weird. You don't want it to thicken or anything like that. And you wanna make sure that you put your cap on your brush and you put your cap back onto your condensed glue gel because otherwise you're gonna have issues with that. And then tip guys, don't leave this in your car. It's gonna be summertime. If you put all this stuff in the back of your vehicle and you leave it there, it's not just the sunlight that's gonna cure this. The heat is gonna mess with the formula. So if you leave this in your car and it starts cooking, don't do that. You're gonna be really upset because your whole pot is gonna be a really weird consistency and it's not gonna be the same that it was when you first bought it. So just take care of your products so you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, there's no reason to leave all this stuff in your car. You wouldn't leave your gel polishes in your vehicle because of the same reason. It's gonna cure your gel polishes. Guys, I'm so excited. Oh, oops. Sorry, Nancy. I think I knocked over whatever you had in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. 
so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is. You guys, I really love this. Oh my God, it's Isn't so Isn't that cute. pretty, Nancy? Yeah. It's freaking cool. I really think it's so cute. So as you guys can see from the side here, nothing is raised up. Everything is nice and filled in, but we are gonna go around every little edge here because it still has a little bit of a lip. You can see like when I'm doing that, I can tick my nail against it. So same process, we're gonna use our Glitz Precision Pen here. And in the box, that does actually look like this. So when you, oh, when you get yours, it's gonna come in this box. This is what it looks like when it's out of the box. Ours is a little beat up because we've been using it for a couple of months now. Because it lasts a really long time. Like, we've been doing live videos for almost six months. This is our very first one. It still has some in here, but we broke the lid, so we had to get a new one. Otherwise, this would still be the one we've been using, mm -hmm. and it's been such a long amount of time, you think that we'd have used it all, especially when I do two nails <coughs> every video and I do two videos a week. You're gonna be doing more clients than that, so think about how long it's gonna last you. So again, lightly squeezing. You really don't have to squeeze very hard. You're just gonna go right in every little nook and cranny and make sure everything is nice and secure. You wanna make sure that you don't have any little edges that are blipped up. You just want this to all be really smooth and uniform. Now, if you do have a little lip, that's okay because like I showed you earlier, we can use our brush, our twin tip brush, and we can just gently brush that out so that we don't have to worry about <coughs> it. And then I had someone ask last video, what happens when you're using your beautiful crystal pixie and then randomly one of your crystals from the center pops out? Generally that happens because the sides or the underneath of your crystal where you have a lot of product, like here, you can see me stick my needle right in there. It's not cured all the way because you're not rocking their nail back and forth under the light. So you want to have your client gently sway their nail from side to side so that you don't have to worry about whether or not it's curing all the way underneath that. All right, so all up around the sides, guys. And then, like I said, I am gonna go in with my twin tip brush and I'm just gonna gently swipe all of this so it'll be nice and flush. All right, guys, when you're done with this, definitely put your lid back on. There's no reason to leave the lid off. You're gonna forget about it. I only say that because I forgot about it. I left it, spilled all over the counter, and Nancy said, oh no, Jenny, it spilled everywhere. Yeah, I was like, oh God, <laughs> what did I do? She said, you didn't put the cap back on it. You just put it up. I was like, oh God, this is what I do to myself. All right, guys. So you're just going to take a no wipe or a paper towel. Do you have a paper towel, Nancy? Yeah. Yeah. I share with you. Oh, sweet. And you're just gonna gently, you're gonna wipe that off. And that way you can just use your brush again. All right, here is your napkin, Nancy. Thank you. Oh, that looks really cute. So the reason I did that was because you don't want a whole bunch of gel on there, any of your condensed glue gel, because you're just gonna be gently swiping this out. So tap it, whatever you've gotta do to make sure that it gets all the way nice and smooth. I gently like touch the edge of it and just kind of bring it out, swipe it. Can I get some of your crystal? Yeah, Nancy, it's all yours. All right, guys, so now that I've done that, I just pop this back in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then after that, we'll go back over with our top coat. Just because you're doing a larger surface like this and you're using this pin, it's not gonna be a completely smooth finish. It's gonna be a little tacky. So you do wanna make sure you're covering that back up. 
So 60 seconds in the lamp, guys. Oh, God. You need me. Oh wow, that's really pretty, Nancy. Should I put more? Yeah. I can't stop. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you to stop. I'll be honest. Cap back on. You like it? And after we've done that, we will go back in with our top coat. I love to do live video with Jenny because she let me do whatever I wanna do. She, she does cool stuff. She puts crystals all over her brushes. You didn't see Nancy when she went crazy with her little dust brush. She had crystals everywhere. She filled up a cup full of our like older crystals. Like I'm gonna There's show you. Thing when what, what, yeah, like when we're going through and we're coming up with designs and stuff, we'll have like little extra ones. <coughs> and she'll take this all thing. these and she'll. That's how she decorates all of her <laughs> brushes. Oh my gosh, oh. this is so pretty. No, can I do my homework? Okay. Yeah, give me one second. All right. Now I'm going to go back in with my top coat really quick, guys, and then we'll be all done. So I'm just going Jenny, to. so fancy. I know, Nancy. Again, guys, your master kit ends tonight at midnight. So if that's something you're interested in, every shape I've used tonight does come in your master kit. Be sure that you check that out because otherwise you're going to miss out on it and it, you're going to kick yourself in the butt because if you're one where you just would like to have everything in one go, that's really the best way to do it. So right here, I'm just going to go right back on the side <laughs> here too just to make sure everything is nice and good. All on the sides. Make sure you're not going anywhere on top of your crystal. As soon as you go on top of your crystal with this, you're going to ruin the crystal. It's not going to be as shiny anymore. You're going to have like little spots there. I know sometimes it's hard for me to do this during live video because I can't really see everything. Nancy's always telling me up a little bit, Jenny. Up a little bit. So just make sure that you're paying attention to that. And then... Once I've got this nice and pretty the way that I want it, I'm going to put this right back in the lamp for 60 seconds because that's how long it takes for our top coat to cure. Whatever non-wipe top coat you have, hopefully you got a good one. It's just 60 seconds in there. And that'll be quicker for you too. That way you get done with your clients in a timely manner and you're not worrying too much about that. So again, I'm going to pop this right in the lamp for 60 seconds now that I have it beautiful exactly the way I want it and then I'll show you exactly what that looks like when it's all the way done because I'll pull my plate out for you and you guys can see how pretty it is so one more time just to show you we have over 10,000 crystals in this kit here you do get your twin tip brush. You get your crystal picker. There's a really nice spot here for you to put both of those things. And you're gonna get all, you're gonna get like a whole thing of 3D. There's a bunch of different types of 3D crystals in there. You're gonna get three of every shape, at least 20 or more of each shape. You do get SS3 through 12. So three, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And then you're also going to get all of our really beautiful like marble pieces. We threw our obsidian and our gold in there for you. And then you get a really, really good deal here, guys. We're throwing in all of this stuff for free. So you get your crystal picker, our new brand new updated crystal picker. You're going to get your 15 G pot of glitz glue gel condensed. You're going to get your display plate, which I'm about to show you how we use that. You're also going to get your selfie light here. This is perfect for taking pictures of all of your work. You're also going to get two triangle trays and a scoop, which you can see I'm using my triangle trays right there. They're really, really helpful. And then 
I have my scoop right here because I use that. It's really handy. You're also going to get a brush, crystal picker, and crystal holder tray, as well as your display tips, and <coughs> you're going to get your twin tip brush as well. Brand new, all this stuff for free with your kit. So that's a really great value, guys. I think that's something like over a hundred dollar value, just for free with your kit. Chà chị của cái kit này mà Jenny đang làm chia sẻ live với anh chị em, mình dùng được rất là nhiều các kỳ dài trong đó có hơn 90 tất cả 90 các shape khác nhau của đá kiểu em và hơn tận 10 ngàn viên đá ở trong một cái kit như vậy mà khi mà anh chị em mua sẽ được bớt giá tổng giá trị được bớt tới hơn 300 đồng là ngày hôm nay ngày cuối cùng thì bực thêm 10 phần trăm bớt uh, giảm giá thì 10 phần trăm so với cái kit này nếu mà anh chị em có câu hỏi gì hoặc là có thắc mắc có thể gọi vào số 206 71 5086 hoặc email đến công ty info at glitchaccessoryandsearch.com uh, uh, hoặc có thể uh, Uh, direct message công ty ở uh, trong Facebook hoặc là Instagram nếu cần hỗ trợ uh, để mà order cái kit này uh, một lần nữa Nancy và Jenny rất là cảm ơn tất cả anh chị em đã coi chương trình live up that's one I said what did I get the other one out no, okay. <coughs> but if you guys like Nancy saying if you have any questions you can always feel free to call us at 206 seven seven one five zero eight six or you can get a hold of us on instagram or facebook by dming or instant messaging us and then you can always email us at info at glitz accessories and such.com and we'll be available to you that way as well so you can call literally anytime and nancy's going to be able to get right back to you as soon as she can and any other questions that you have Maybe you don't want to call, maybe you don't want to email. Like I said, you can always use our Facebook or our Instagram and message us that way. Um, if you want it to be a little more personal, maybe you just want to talk, you can always message me. I'm on Instagram at Tall Hopper, or you can get a hold of me on my Glitz page, which is Jeanette Whitehead. You can find me there. I'm always available for you guys to talk to, no matter what you wanna talk about, I'm here. I have a lot of fun talking to everybody about different kind of nail designs. I know Brad gets on here and sometimes we talk about gel painting or we talk about hand painting, things like that. Look how beautiful this turned out. I really love this one so much. I like to do the ones where I like crown them. So I think the crystals like that look really cute. Especially this one, we use so many shapes here. These are gorgeous. I'm really proud of these. I even this like them. This is so freaking cool. I don't know. Like, and honestly, guys, sometimes I'm not in the mood, but it turns out really, really cool. Every time, I'm always surprising myself. Because you're so good. Yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in Orlando. We have so much stuff to show you. Nancy's even working with some stuff right now, like, so that she can have all of our displays done. We have a lot of different products we're going to be launching specifically in Orlando. So definitely show up and say hey. Even if all you want to do is stop by the booth and get your free gift, just come and say hey to us because we love interacting with you guys. And not only that, but you're going to see all this stuff in person and it's going to change everything you thought about nail accessories. Okay? Because you can see this on a video all day long and it's not going to be as shiny or as spectacular as it is in person, I promise you. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful Friday. Like I said, we're really, really excited for our Orlando launch. So we will see you, absolutely see you soon. It's not even two weeks away and we're both is so two week, freaking stoked. Two week away? Uh, yep, no. it's two weekends away. It is? Yep. Less because that, next right? weekend is Memorial Weekend, and the weekend after that is when we leave, Nancy. Oh. So, how excited are you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. We will <coughs> see you on Tuesday for another live video. 
and I hope that you have a wonderful look at weekend. That Jean nails. Yeah, look at my crazy nail. Ooh, so I have so much fun doing them like this, but see how I even did a crown at the top of my seashell. Yeah. You know, and both my nails are not even, they're not 100% <coughs> the same because I didn't have all the metal charms that I wanted. But it didn't even matter because you can't, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell how I did it. But thank you guys so much for such a wonderful Friday evening. Like I said, use your code JennyW so you can get 10% off your order at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And tonight is your last night for the master kit. Yes. So make sure you're checking <laughs> it out before midnight. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. All right, guys, we will see you soon. Nancy will see you in Oregon this yeah. weekend. So if you're in Oregon this weekend, hey. Bye, guys. Bye. Have, Have a, a great, great day. Weekend.